Hello, my name is Connor. I'm going to make a quick video showing how I would support this model. Uh, this is Ophelia and uh, it's a free model. It's in the Beautiful Night Kickstarter. I'll put a link in the description so you can download it. Um, I've seen a lot of people download this in printer and their models have support marks that make the, make the painting difficult. Uh, here's my painted version. So I want to show you how I recommend uh, supporting this. This is for a resin print. I'm going to print her at 100% scale, which is 75 mils. And it's a solid model. I'm not going to hollow it. So let's take a look at how we'd support her. So the first thing I notice is that there's an overhang on the chin. Um, so I, I don't want to print her in this default orientation. If we printed her just like this, then we would need a support here for this island under her chin. And that's going to look terrible. That's going to add a mark on her skin, so I don't want to do that. So let's rotate it back a little. Let me just remove this. Okay. Let's rotate the model back a little so that the chin is no longer an overhang. Um, let's see what angle looks good. So that, that looks good now because the chin is not an overhang. Let me check it. Yeah, there's no island there anymore. So that should print okay. Now, if you rotate too far back, you'll start to get overhangs on the back of the character. So let me check the back. This is okay. This is the worst spot. So you can see all the clothing's nice and smooth. There's no need for any supports there. Really, the only place we're going to need any is the, the two elbows. So this looks like a very good angle. I'm going to keep her at this angle and start down here with the heavy supports. So heavy supports for the base of the model. And then I'll use medium for anywhere that needs supporting, um, but may be visible. And then I'll use light supports for anywhere that um, I want the minimal damage, the, the smallest amount of damage on the surface. So let's start with heavy supports down here. And let's find the low point. So the low point is there. Now the heavy supports are quite thick, so I don't want to go all the way to the edge, because if I add one at the very edge, it will overlap and mess up the outside of the dress. So it's better to put the heavy support in a little bit from the edge, about here. You see now it still, it still touches the low point, but it won't mark the outside of the dress. So I'll try to do that with a few heavy supports all around the bottom of the dress, like this. Okay, these won't be seen. These will be underneath the model, so you can use as many as you like down here. You may as well make the model very well supported so it won't fail. Okay, here's an, here's an island here, so I need to support the base of the foot. Again, I move it away from the overhang. I don't want it to print with a, a lump there, so I move it on the other side of the foot so that you won't see it. So pay attention to the little green line. The green line shows you where the support is going to extrude from. Okay, where's the island? The island is there, so go there. Um, I might just use a light support on the heel as well, just to make sure it doesn't fail. Right there. Okay, so that's a good start. Um, all the way up to the torso is going to be fine. It doesn't need any additional supports here. Let's go to the elbows. Now, I'm not going to use a heavy support on the elbows. The heavy supports are just too thick. They'll leave a big mark. Um, you, you could sand the elbows to clean it up, but there's no need. A medium support should be fine. So let's try and get a medium support in. Now, it looks like it won't, um, it won't go all the way to the base. So this is not a good place to create the support. So instead, I'll just create one over here. See if I can get one there. So this one's coming off the base and then I'll move it to where I need it. Okay, we'll try and get it close to the island on the bottom of the elbow, which is here. Yeah, you'll often find you can't get it exactly right. So just pull the pull a little pivot point down and you should get it. Okay, that's pretty good. 
Let's do the other one for this side. So I'll just, uh, just do the same thing, put one off the back somewhere and then edit it. Bring it in closer. Now it's important you don't bring it too close to the dress or it will mark the dress. So leave, leave a couple of millimeters of space. I'll just get this close to the island. There, that looks good. Um, if you're worried that these supports might fail, you could always just give them an additional support like, like that so that they're stronger. Okay, the next spot is going to be under the skull. Let's see. I'll use light ones here. So it looks like the knuckles and possibly the underside of the skull will need support. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, I don't like that. That's going to put a, a mark on the leg, so that's no good. Let's see if I can get a better one. Now I could come in could come in from here. This would be a good spot to bring a support up. Let's see if I can get that to work. Now that's touching the foot, so that's no good. So I think what I'll try is I'll come from here and edit this one. And that way I can push it into the location I really want, which is in here. So that's as close as I can get. So let's move out. It mustn't, mustn't go too close to the dress here, obviously. That looks good. Um, where's the most important part? So let's find the low, the low point. The low point seems to be this knuckle here. So let's put that one in first. Now again, you can see it's hard for me to actually hit that perfectly. So I'll just take it reasonably close and then pull this down and that will work. Now I'll generate the rest of my supports from this one. Okay, where's the next low point? Yeah, there's an island on that knuckle there. So I'm moving the mouse here, but I'm paying attention to the islands on the knuckle here. Because this topology is so awkward, I can't easily move up and down. But if I move my mouse over here, I can easily scroll through the layers and see where the islands are. So I, I, I notice this next knuckle has an island, and that one. And the index finger is okay. So this one needs support. And I'll add one for the third knuckle. go here. That looks like it worked perfectly. Okay, what about the left hand? Yes, the left hand needs one here. Um, I think I'll come in from the other side for the left hand, so let's create a support there. And then just take it up to here. That's a good position. Let's find the low point on the hand. It's there. And then pull this down. There it is in the right place. Okay, next one here is the, the back of the skull. So I'll just pop one there and edit that one. Hit the back of the skull. And looks like there's one on the jaw. Yeah, there's one on this side of the jaw here, so let's do another one here. Okay, that's good. There's one here as well, which is tricky because if I run a support up from below, it will mess up the fingers. Um, you probably won't see this area very much when it's printed. You'd have to pick up the model and turn it over to see this, so um, it's not a really important, but I'll, I'll try to make it clean anyway. So I want to support here. If I bring this up, it's less likely to touch the fingers. I might get a better result. There, that's pretty good. Um, there may be an overhang here. No, this is okay, actually. So it's lucky at this angle, the shoulder pads seem to be fine. Yep. 
There may be a tiny island there. Let me check that. Yeah, there is a couple of pixels of an island there. But in this case, I don't think that's worth supporting. If I was to put a support here, it'll leave a notch and it may even damage the skin on the shoulder here. I, I think it's just not worth supporting. That looks like it's done. Okay. So let's just slice it and see um, if there's any obvious mistakes. Okay, I'll just scroll through quickly and have a look at the slice. So I'm just going to watch this view and see if any little white islands pop up with no support underneath them. So I scroll through the model. I think it's okay. Now there's a there's an explosion of new parts here. That's the back of her hair. Okay, but there's no actual islands. It looks like it's okay. And here's the shoulders. And they're pretty good too. Yep. That looks good to print. Um, I will show you my support settings. So if you print her with these kinds of supports, you'll see that there's um, really only a tiny bit of cleanup you'll need. You'll just need to sand um, or file the bottom of her elbows here. All this stuff here isn't going to really leave much of a mark, and you don't see that anyway. But notice that all of her skin and her chin and all of her dress is going to be flawless. It should come out perfect. All right, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.